Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of my American Girl Doll collection tour. Today I'm going to be covering all of my historical slash be forever dolls. If you didn't see part one of the series, make sure to check it out. And before we continue on, make sure you subscribe Comment down below what your favorite historical character is or which one is on your wish list. I would also ask that you guys consider checking out my Disney videos as they are actually the main occupation of this channel and was the whole reason I created it. And the American Girl Dolls are simply my part-time hobby and just something I do in my spare time. So I would really appreciate if you guys checked out some of those videos. So let's get on with today's video. I do also want to mention that all of these dolls are actually Be Forever and Beyond like dolls and I have only one that was actually a actual historical doll and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Starting off we have Kaya and she is from 1764. She is the oldest historical character in terms of when her stories take place. She was originally my sister's doll and so I don't really use her much so you probably don't even hear about her or see her at all. But I do have her here now and I plan on maybe buying some more of her stuff in the future. I kind of like her little teepee. I think it would be cute to have. And I have actually taken her hair out before so that's probably why it looks a little bit uneven but it's actually really easy to just put in and out. And when it's down, it's like really, really soft. She has very soft hair. She came to us in the Christmas of 2017. She was originally my sister's but I have recently acquired her and she's now a part of my collection. This is Kaya's meat outfit. They're all in their meat outfits for this video. This is Felicity Merriman and she is from 1774. She is from Colonial Williamsburg. It's actually the Be Forever Felicity if you can't already tell. So this is not the original version of her that came out of when American Girl first was coming around. So I got this Felicity for my birthday in 2017, so right around the time she was released. And Felicity was also the first ever historical character that I ever fell in love with. And before this Felicity actually came to me, over the years my mom has tried or considered buying me a Felicity doll. She almost bought one for me back in 2014. And then she almost bought one for me in Christmas or two of 2016, or she tried to buy one for me, but I ended up getting this Felicity for my birthday instead, and I'm very happy I have her. And she has since then been re-retired after only being back for about two or three years. I don't really remember. And you can also see that the Beef River Felicity does not have as bright of the green eyes. And I actually prefer the look of this Felicity compared to the older one because the older one has the lined eyebrows and the really bright green eyes. And I'm not a huge fan of how that looks. And I know not everyone is a fan of this Felicity, but I love her lots and I would love her no matter what. And here's what Felicity's outfit looks like. Here we have Elizabeth Cole and she is the best friend for Felicity. So she and Felicity were actually sold together in the same case. She has been retired for about 10 years now. Elizabeth is actually the one historical doll that I own and she is also a pre-Mattel doll if that's what we call it and I'll explain to that in a minute. So I got her for the Christmas of 2016. My mom bought her used off of eBay and she actually came with a few other things. So she is pretty old. She could probably use a new head and maybe an overall completely new doll but I'm leaving her like this for now just because of the age of this particular doll so she is actually the oldest doll i own in terms of when the doll was made not when i've had them you can see that her curls are very worn out because if you know what elizabeth looks like then you'll know that she look probably looks a little a lot better than this and we actually just had american girl do her hair at the salon last summer so i actually still have the ribbons in from that because i think they look really pretty on her and i'll show you what I mean by a pre-Mattel doll on her. So I don't know how well it is showing on camera, but the back of her head actually says Pleasant Company. So she is one of my several Pleasant Company dolls. I will be talking about that in a different video. And that's another reason I'm hesitant to get her head replaced because I still wanna keep that older feeling. And she, her entire outfit is very worn out because she's pretty old. I would have to guess that this Elizabeth doll was probably from 
when she came out, which I think was like 2005 was when they like re-released Felicity and um, put Elizabeth with her. Her dress is definitely adorable though. She used to have the little head piece, I can't remember what it's called, but I lost it at some point, which is unfortunate. This right here, of course, is Samantha Parkington, and she is from 1904. This is the Be Forever version of Samantha, and she's wearing her Be Forever meet outfit. Samantha was actually the third doll I ever owned, and Flip Elizabeth was actually the fourth doll I ever owned, by the way. Samantha, and she is wearing her meat hairstyle right now, and she was actually the first doll whose hair I properly took care of the right way, and I always gently brushed it and so that's why it stayed in good condition so I got her in October of 2016 and I the reason I got her was because we had a hurricane hit and I agreed to clean up the entire yard of all the pine cones and pine needles and leaves and my parents would buy me a new American Girl doll and I did it all that day and they took me to the American Girl store that night and I opened her up there and I will actually insert the clip of me opening her up on the screen if you just were curious to see that because I did actually film it and so I am super glad that she is in my collection now and especially since American Girl has kind of retired her she um, is only sold in the cubes at the stores now which is kind of unfortunate that they wouldn't like fully retire her or just keep her how she is so I did at the last minute buy a ton of pieces from her collection on sale and Samantha was also one of the original three American Girl characters and this is what the Be Forever meet outfit looks like next up I have Rebecca Rubin and she is from 1914 fun fact Rebecca and I are almost almost exactly a hundred years apart in age which is crazy she was born 100 years prior to the decade that I was born in. She is Jewish and she is from New York, I believe. It's been a while since I read her stories. She was also my sister's doll. A lot of my historical dolls are actually, actually originally my sister's dolls and so I don't actually use them a whole lot for things. And I love her meat outfit. Here's what it looks like. I love the purple color. And she did used to have a little clip that came in her hair, but it got lost at some point in the recent years so she was originally my sister's doll and i believe my sister got her for christmas of 2016 which means she was one of the earlier dolls that we own so my sister got her the same time i got elizabeth and i do know that rebecca has another one of those kind of maybe complicated wigs but you can see that i've done a pretty decent job at caring for it and i don't worry i will be making a better hair care video in the future for people who are curious but if you have any quick questions or comments about it just put it down below and I will do my best to answer. Overall I do think Rebecca is actually a really pretty and cute doll and she is also wearing a necklace underneath but you can't really see it because the chain is short. That's what it looks like. I think it's really beautiful too. One of my favorite pieces from her collection was her little director's chair because she is also an actor, which is really cool. So I have a few things in common because she likes to direct movies, which is something I technically do because I direct YouTube videos. This right here is Nanea Mitchell and she is one of the newer characters from American Girl. She was released in 2017 and I got her pretty close to when she came out so I actually have two Nanea's. My sister actually had Nanea and she got Nanea first before I got Nanea. And basically what happened is I read all the books and I decided to get her. So I wasn't originally planning on getting her, but I did. And you'll notice that she definitely looks very, very different from the other American Girl dolls because she does have her own unique face. Well, I'm starting with the really weird lighting going on, but the sun and the clouds like keep clashing together over and over again. I do think that she is a super cute doll and one of my like favorite pieces, I love her shave ice stand and I also really like some of a lot of her outfits. I think they're so cute. And she is from 1942. I always forget which year she's from. So she's from the same decade that Molly was. And this is what her outfit looks like. 
She's also from Hawaii, by the way. So she is from Hawaii during World War II. Here I have Melody Ellison, and she is another one of the more recent historical characters from American Girl. She is from 1964, and she lives during the Civil Rights Movement. I especially enjoyed Melody's little movie on the Amazon Prime video. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely watch it. And, and she is also originally my sister's doll. And for some reason, her hair has kind of lost the little like bounce and the fluff that originally had it had to it. I don't know how that happened, but it happened sometime in the span of the last few years. And this headband, I don't think this is the, actually the one she came with. It's just one that looks like it because the one she came with is super hard to get on. And it's like not worth it so i just put her in this one because it looks exactly the same and she got my sister got melody the same time i got samantha so we both opened them at the same time my sister did actually help me out with that yard project i didn't do it all by myself i'm glad i have melody because i like having a lot of the newer dolls in my collection and of course american girl dolls aren't you know guaranteed to stick around forever this is what her little outfit looks like I actually have her microphone set and I love to just speak into it and play around with it. My other favorite piece that she had that's now been retired was her little bingo set and I remember playing with it in the store and thinking it was just like the most adorable thing ever. Up next is Julie Albright and she is from 1974 if you can't already tell. She was actually my sister's first ever doll so she got her the same time we did Leah but again most all my sister's dolls are now part of my collection. I have quite a few pieces from Julie's collection, but I don't actually use her that often. One of my new favorite things is her pinball machine. Every time I go to the American Girl store, I play with it. I love American Girl's mini arcade machines. They are so much fun. She actually has pierced ears, and I think she's wearing like a really cute earrings that match her little shirt, and the sun is shining in the camera. I apologize for that, but here's what they look like. I think she's a really cute doll and she's kind of another one that a lot of people have. I don't think that if she was like, she had been acquired by me, I would have ever gotten her. I'm not sure about that. Here's a little overview of her outfit and her shoes are, can be kind of a pain sometimes because they're very loose and one of them will fall off. Another interesting thing I did with Julie is I actually gave her a zip tie neck instead of the original neck strings and because I tend to see this in a lot of Julie dolls is that they have loose heads and no matter what I did if I tightened it and stuff it was always loose so I actually took out the string and put a zip tie in there and I've actually done this with other dolls now too so now she has a nice and tight head and I shouldn't have to worry about it falling off at all I do like using her bed and some of the pieces I have for her a lot including her little egg chair set and lastly, we have currently my very favorite historical character, Courtney Moore, who is the also the newest historical character from American Girl, and she is from 1986. She was actually the first ever doll um, that I made a video about. I unboxed her, and it surprisingly was the first video that hit over a thousand views on my channel. And there could be a tiny, tiny little chance you found me through that, but who knows? I have been obsessed with Courtney for such a long time now and I just love all her little 80s pieces and I bring her to show like my family who all grew up in the 80s and they all love her. And she does also have earrings and there were earrings in her collection so I did decide to pierce her ears. And it's interesting because Courtney has the textured hair with the tight curls and most dolls like this don't actually have that. I do it the same way I do with Gabby's. I do know there are some people out there who are not as big of a fan of Courtney, which is totally fine. <laughs> Get that totally. I do think that she is definitely my favorite at the moment and my favorite change all the time, but I absolutely love her so much and I love playing with her and I love using videos with her and I use her pieces from her collection for so many things. And I do have a lot to thank for her since she kind of got me going on this American Girl part of my channel. It's her outfit if you were wondering. If you want to see a more detailed version of her, then you can just watch the review of where I opened her up. And then I got Courtney right before she came out. I was actually lucky enough to be able to get her a few days early. I went to the store and I asked the employees and they were kind enough to give me one. And they said that I was, that I was more than able to buy one early. Yeah, I just think that she is like the cutest, one of the cutest dolls ever. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
It's not intended to brag in any sort of way. This is again a very requested video and it was about time I do it. And in the next part, we are going to be meeting all of my Truly Me dolls. I will see you guys in the next video and don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe and comment down below your favorite historical character or which one you're hoping to get next. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.